Hey, how's it going? It is all the news all the time. My name is Adam. Yeah, that's right. Anna, we got some very strange news today. Um, the question we're asking is, is Amber Heard, uh, there she is, uh, perfect in the role of uh, Mira? Uh, the answer would be no. And uh, what's going on with Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp, is he actually in the new film, uh, Jean de Barry? Is he actually in there? Or have they cut him out of the film? What is going on? Uh, let's have a little look first at uh, Amber being perfect. Jesus Christ, I can't believe the words I'm saying coming out of my own mouth. Um, the rose-tinted Schneiderverse glasses get thicker by the day after AH uh, is deemed perfect. <laughs> well, well, I'm not sure about that. For the most part, uh, Zack Snyder tends to win a lot of plaudits for the way he cast the Snyderverse, which is well-deserved when he was the one responsible for recruiting Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, Jason Momoa, legend, Gal Gadot, legend, Ezra Miller, mm, questionable, and many others that would go on to become a key fabric of the DCU's initial iteration. Uh, as was revealed during her trial opposite ex-husband Johnny Depp, though he cast A.H. as Mira, a decision that hasn't aged well. <laughs> <laughs> is the understatement of the week. Uh, after the Aquaman star, generous, became one of the least popular figures on the internet. Uh, this is correct. During her lengthy legal battle against her former spouse. Uh, yeah, he regrets that. There she is, uh, the Wicked Witch of the Sea. Uh, even though her performance in James Wan's aquatic epic wasn't entirely well received. Well, there's an understatement of the year again. Uh, and... And her mere presence in sequel Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is proving to be a bone of contention. Jesus Christ, man. Millions of people have signed uh, a, a thing, a, uh, a petition to get rid of her. It's not a bone of contention. Uh, <laughs> millions of people. Uh, Snyder deemed Mira worthy enough to merit a place in the reshoots. Jesus Christ. That took place prior to the release of his four-hour Justice League. Four hours. Who puts up with four hours of that shenanigans? Uh, of course, that didn't pass without incident after her bizarre and thoroughly terrible accent was dragged across the hot, crawl, the hot coals of criticism. But one totally unbiased Snyderverse stalwart has nonetheless offered that she was perfect in the role. And here we have the uh, the account, which has got a picture of, <laughs> a picture of her, and it says, Mira uh, DCU. Uh-huh. So uh, we're, not, we're not biased at all. Uh, so what Zack Snyder did with Mira needs to be studied. <laughs> I'm not sure it does. Uh, not only was she perfectly portrayed as a warrior queen, questionable, but she was the only one besides Superman who almost defeated Steppenwolf. Yeah, there's a lot of like almost did this and almost did that. Uh, she's, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I would have loved to have seen, see what else he could have done with the character. Uh, so would I, but in a different way. Uh, Zack was the one who initially offered Amber the role well, 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 after what? After what she did what? Uh, she was sceptical at first, thinking that Mira was nothing but a damsel in distress with no agency. But he showed her the comics and she immediately fell in love with the character. She auditioned and now we have our Mira. Uh, not my Mira. Uh, oh, what's going on with that? <laughs> oh, it's, all, it's all broken. Oh, it's because it's a Twitter page. Um, you've got a question. Uh, who, is, who is writing this? Who, who is this person with this Twitter account? Um... Is it AH? Is it one of our friends? Is it her paid PR team? Uh, the questions questions we ask ourselves. Uh, with less than 10 minutes of screen time, <laughs> deservedly so, Zach and Amber managed to give Mira an impactful introduction. The presence she has in the film is almost intimidating. Whew. Oof. that's how you make the most of a situation even if time is limited you can't escape i'm not trying to well i am i'm certainly trying to escape uh so yeah <laughs> as they're saying here if you can't believe in an account called mirror uh, dcu with a profile picture of mirror who's going to pass reasonable judgment on amber Heard's mirror then who can you trust uh not this person that's for sure <laughs> and from what i've been hearing she's in the uh, trailer for the new upcoming uh, aquaman 2 so therefore she's in the film Aquaman 2, which is a uh, good enough reason not to go along and see it, uh, in my personal opinion. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, we've got some Twitter accounts going on, Twitter accounts. Um, I was looking at Johnny Depp, comeback movie, faces fresh screen time speculation. We've got all this shenanigans going on here. As the opening of a movie of the Cannes Film Festival, there's a certain amount of inbuilt prestige that comes attached to a period drama, Jeanne de Barry. Never mind the fact that it's been heavily touted as a potential comeback vehicle for Johnny Depp. See, my, my thoughts on this is uh, that my win uh, brought in Johnny Depp just for the publicity and, 
and the notoriety and to get sort of fame and it's worked really well she's had global attention but then she's kicked him to the curb and cut down his uh, his time on screen to barely nothing uh, just to push her own um, status uh, this is my personal opinion of course for what it's worth uh, not much as always and uh, once the single highest paid star in the industry who comfortably commanded paychecks of 20 million dollars for every role he played uh, but he was worth it because he generated vast amounts of money the fallen idol has uh, it reminds me of something has instead been reduced to playing bit parts in foreign language features after his personal professional and legal misgivings thanks to the sea witch have deemed him nigh on unemployable in hollywood look at all this beige number going on and check her she's got the crimpers out remember those crimpers uh, i didn't know they had those back in the day uh, bit parts certainly I don't know, I can't. <laughs> certainly seems to be the key term in this instance after unsubstantiated stories emerge claiming the director mywood uh, is alleged to have significantly reduced both his screen time and amount of dialogue which may or may not have anything to do with the fact either he barely speaks a lick of fluent french <laughs> or the ongoing speculation uh, which he didn't exactly deny that he'd been a difficult customer during production which did initially emanate uh, from a celebrity reporter with no connection to the film. And uh, it, it seems very strange indeed, this. According to some uh, recent reports, Jeanne de Barry runs for 113 minutes, so you better like costume dramas, uh, with Depp only factoring into somewhere between 10 and 15 of them, and he's the, he's the king. I suppose, I mean, it's called Jeanne de Barry. It's not called uh, uh, Roy de France. Oh, that was that was bad um so maybe yeah with depp only factoring uh, 10 to 15 minutes in addition he's said to have uh, some very little to say both figuratively and literally so it could be a case of the would-be comeback being over before it's even had a chance to get started uh, should he indeed end up being excised from the majority of the film uh, then again he isn't playing the main character even though he is the king france then it's about the king france so his participation amounting to an extended cameo wouldn't really be that much of a surprise Mm, very interesting. Um, I would find it difficult, uh, clearly, to to do to act in a different language, and I'm sure all the French people are going to know that he's not uh, fluent in French, and that's going to be very obvious to them. But to non-French people, are they going to notice? Would they notice so much? I'm not sure. Well, I think we're going to have to uh, have a look and see what goes on. As uh, but I think it's a tactical move by her uh, to get all the publicity, and then she's uh, she's kicked him to the curb. Uh, when she doesn't need him anymore, uh, in my personal opinion, uh, for what it's worth. <laughs> and what else is going on? Uh, well, we've got a book coming out, The Depp, We Heard the Unreal Story. Whenever someone says that, I'm, I'm asking myself, is it is it the real story? Or are you just making stuff up? This is from Nick Wallace, and he was a person who did another uh, uh, book, which was about, I uh, can't remember what it was about. We'll come to that in a second. Anyway, uh, it's about Johnny Depp, is he a monstrous wife beater? innocent victim of AH, or is the reality more complex? Uh, Depp v. Heard, the unreal story is definitive account of the gruelling court battles between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard by the reporter who was there, using witness testimony and contemporaneous evidence. That's a kind of tricky word. Uh, Nick Wallace has created a gripping reconstruction of the allegations of violence, drug-taking and wild extravagance which dominated two epic trials and made headlines around the world. That's, uh, that's a lot of uh, bombastic words. Uh, Nick also weaves in his own reportage and insights, bringing the courtroom drama to life and analysing how courts in the UK and USA arrived at conflicting conclusions. Uh, yes, yeah, so there you go. There's a new book coming out. It isn't actually out yet. It's going to be out in 17th of May 2023. It's the 1st of May right now, so it's 17 days. Price is looking like uh, 12 99 £13. So what's that going to be? 17 dollars 17, $18. Uh, if you want the paperback, there's the US edition. Uh, what way that's different, I do not know. There's an e-book. Uh, if you go to Amazon, the Kindle edition is eight ninety nine in pounds, which is going to be about $11, $12, You've got a paperback edition if you want that as well. And it'll come out on 17th of May if you want to read that, uh, which could be could be interesting, could be a lot of uh, shenanigans. Oh yeah, that's what he did, the post office scandal. That's what it was about. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Has Johnny been uh, relegated to a bit part in his own film? And uh, is is A H uh, perfect? No, no, the answer is no uh, to that one. So uh, let, <laughs> let me know your thoughts. <laughs> Why we're looking at? Let me know your thoughts, and I will catch you guys later.